Hello guys, so uh, we have started this series which is related to the MATLAB and previously we have discussed different plotting schemes which are related to the 2D plotting, 3D plotting and also we have seen that how to import different data sets which are currently available in different forms like in txt files in excel files in the form of audio files and video and images files as well okay so apart from the plotting techniques which we have previously seen today we are going to discuss a very easy very flexible to use plotting function which is available in the MATLAB and that is called the easy plot okay so suppose you have to plot the sine wave so what are the steps in, involved in the sine wave first of all you have to basically define the time variable and you have to define the points that from where to where you have to define this time variable and what will be the difference between each point in this time vector okay so uh, let us have this one so here this 0 0 1 and after it we have to write uh, this one and after it we have to define this y equal to sine of t let me have it and after it what you have to do we have to plot it like this one okay so it will give me like this one similarly if uh, you want to sorry if now let me increase this and plot it now okay uh, i have to run it again and after it i have to plot it so you will see that this um, waveform will appear so this is basically a very tedious task in which what you have to do you have to define two uh, functions at the same time so in order to tackle all these issues all these things there is another plot which is the easy plot so what is the easy plot inside of this sign of x and it will plot this one okay so this is the easy plot and it is basically taking all the range from minus 2 pi to 2 pi and plotting my plot in this range okay similarly if you want to plot other variables here you in order to plot each and everything here what you have to remember here is that you have to write those things inside these inverted commas okay so initially you, you can see that when i have written this statement it did not work because it did not know that what is x so now when you will write this one so, so easy plot will treat it like the symbolic representation which we are going to discuss in our upcoming videos so this is the sinusoidal waveform similarly if you want to display tangent hyperbolic x what it will do it will give you this if you want to use the grids okay similarly title title is already defined and um, all other things these can also be plotted here similarly if you want to increase or decrease this limit what you can do here you can write it after this here inside these square brackets so let me define it in between minus 5 multiplied by pi up to 5 into pi okay so you will see that the range is now increased and it is from minus 15 to 15. So you may ask me that what if I want to uh, do all the formatting which I usually do with all my formats. So what? So in order to do it, I can click over it. Uh, this is the last one here and that is the show plot tools and dog figure. Clicking over it and you will see that this plot will appear. So if you want to format this one, click over it and it will be shown like this dotted one. After it, what you have to do? You have to use this property editor uh, and in this property editor, you can change the width of it okay you can see that the width has changed similarly if you want to increase the width some more okay so this is four now similarly if you want to use other lines here so this is the dotted one uh, similarly this one and this one as well okay there are different options in order to change the color here you can change colors here as well if you want to use marker here so what is the marker these curves or these plots will be represented with some markers 
okay so let me use uh, this marker here so you will see that let me decrease its width and here we can see that all the markers are now here available okay uh, similarly we have many other options available here as well so these are six and so on you can also use here this white color here and so on okay uh, more options and more prop in using more properties here we can also use this one similarly in order to uh, format this one just you have to double click over it and you will see that different um, options will appear here and by using these options you can see that you can change all what you want to change here okay so selecting it and now making it three similarly increasing the size here size will be increased normal you want to make it bold it will be bolded and so on okay uh, similarly what if you want to insert y label here what you have to do you have to clicking over the y label what will happen this box will appear and here let me call it amplitude okay so this is the y label and you can see that this is now available similarly in order to change the uh, label of uh, x here i can also use here the let me call it time so you will see that time is appearing here similarly in order to change the range you can also change it from here okay scale is linear you can also use the log scale as well okay and you will see that the plot will be changed here okay uh, after it what you can do here you can also save it and uh, also save it as other uh, formats as well okay so uh, this is about the formatting of the plots which we can get from the easy plot similarly you can also uh, let me remove it so if you have some function here let me have x square so writing it here x square plus x plus one okay so let us have this uh, function and what i have to do i want to plot it so just writing it here and pressing enter it will be plotted like this one okay so you can plot here uh, everything whatever you want by using this easy plot similarly uh, you can analyze those things as well uh, if i want to increase the order of my equation what will happen now you can see that the curves will be like this one similarly now making it this x cube and uh, x 5 minus this one now you will see that the shape of this plot will be like this one okay this is all about the easy plot and you have seen the uses of easy plot thank you so much and i will see you with some more problems and with some more solutions in our upcoming video thank you so much